So in this video, you're gonna learn the top four mistakes to avoid while experiencing acute lower back pain. So for those of you who are in acute lower back pain right now, it's frequently one out of two conditions that present to us in practice the most. Number one is a facet joint sprain, and number two is a disc bulge of the lower lumbar spine. So both of these can present really acute, inflamed, swollen backs, and both of them can cause local muscle spasm in the area. So I'm just gonna show you up close what a facet and a disc joint or disc bulge look like. So this is a typical facet joint, okay? It's got two discs and frequently it can get jammed. Okay, so the spine can get jammed down and it can create local muscle spasm and inflame the joints right through the facet joint. Okay, the second one or the disc bulge, as you see right down here, this is a normal lumbar vertebrae, normal lumbar vertebrae separated by a disc and these are nerves all the way down. If we have any kind of disc bulge, it usually bulges out through the side of the disc just like a jam donut essentially and it bulges onto the nerves. Again, once that disc bulges onto that nerve, it can create a whole host of things that are gonna happen. Inflammation, muscle soreness, and muscle spasm, okay? I hope that helps you out, guys. So, what are the top four mistakes that most people make when they've got really bad acute lower back pain? Number one has to be prolonged rest. So we definitely don't want to be promoting bed rest. You definitely don't want to be lying in your bed all day, every day, waiting for this to go away, because it probably won't. Instead, what we want to do is active rest. So active rest basically means walking around slowly and gently and lying down and walking and lying down and walking. Okay, so you're going to repeat this pattern while you're using the icing and you're going to have much better results. Doing the wrong activity. So you're gonna try and avoid any kind of sitting, as I've said. You're gonna avoid especially any kind of twisting or lifting, okay? Because we don't wanna re-aggravate the already injured area. Number three, overuse of medication. So medication usually is just for short-term use only, okay? So we see a lot of patients coming in who have been using ibuprofen, paracetamol for weeks and weeks and weeks, okay? Try and use ice as best you can, medications for short-term use only, and please try and read the side effects leaflets contained within the medication. Number four, last one, considering surgery too early. Okay, surgery really should only be used as a last resort when everything else has already failed. Okay, hope those tips helped you.